Okay, what we want to do is draw a free body diagram. And we've simplified this to five sort of questions or rules. And by following this, you'll get a free body diagram for just about any situation. The thing is, when you answer a question and you draw something on the free body diagram, once you finish, don't add anything else that you think might be there, because these are the only things we have to account for. So let's go through the questions. The first one is, is there gravity? That applies to most situations. The second one is, is it sitting on a surface? If it's sitting on a surface, then there's a normal force, Fn. The third question is, is something pushing or pulling it? That would be our apply force, Fa. The last question about the forces is, is there friction? And this is dependent on the situation. We'll either say there's friction, or you might have to put friction on it to uh, account for what the object is doing. So that might take a little bit of work. The fifth question is, is it accelerating? And you need to label which way is it, it's, it's accelerating and give me that symbol there. Okay, so let's try a really simple one. Here's somebody pulling a box and the box is accelerating. So I'm gonna draw my free body diagram. I'm gonna put a dot there to represent the object. We don't actually draw the box. First question, is there gravity? Yes, there's gravity. So we draw that and we label it FG. Second question, is it sitting on a surface? Well, let me draw my X and Y axis. X and Y. It is sitting on the surface, so we need a normal force. Fn. And it's at 90 degrees to the surface, out from the surface. Is something pushing or pulling on it? Yes, there's definitely someone pulling on it. They're pulling with the rope, so the force must be in the direction of the rope, because we're interested in the object. So I'm going to draw that here. That would be Fa. The last question here about the forces, is there friction? Well, in the question somewhere for this one, we probably would have said there is some friction. If the box is moving this way, then the friction would be opposite to that direction. There it is there. Okay. The last question, is it accelerating? Yes, we said it was accelerating. It is accelerating to the right, so I need to put that symbol somewhere. Acceleration to the right is positive. Okay. The last thing we need to do is look at the x and y directions and see how they add up. This thing is accelerating to the right. So that means there must be more force to the right than there is to the left. And I look at my diagram, I don't know how big these are, but this definitely looks bigger than that. It looks like it's accelerating to the right. In the up and down direction, well, if it's accelerating to the right, then in the up and down direction, it's not accelerating. So my ups and downs must add up to zero. So I've got two forces, so it's going to be easy. Fn is up, Fg is down. They must be the same size, so I indicate like that. These are now the same size. My ups and downs add up to zero. Since I've asked all these questions and I've drawn them all on here, I stop. Even if I think there might be something else going on here, as long as I've accounted for all this, we're okay. So this is the free body diagram for this situation.